And Montana's scenic landscapes and laid back culture have made it a very welcoming place to call home for artists looking to hone in their craft. In particular, Montana's capital city is home to a long legacy for those working in the ceramic arts. In this week's Montana Made, MTN's Jacob Fuhrer shows us the Archie Bray Foundation. Looks good. The process is relatively simple. Artists take clay, spend time molding it using water and binders, and then fire it in a kiln to make a rigid product. But the end creations are much more complicated, blending different colors, forms, sizes, materials, and complexities. Some art is functional, others purely aesthetic. At the Archie Bray Foundation for the Ceramic Arts, all types of art is embraced. The Bray is a special place for artists to take up residency and let their creativity flow. It was founded with a very simple mission to, um, for all those sincerely and seriously interested in the ceramic arts, a fine place to work. Started in 1951, originally as a brick making business, the old buildings and kilns can still be seen on the grounds, a historic graveyard of sorts. Now the Bray is somewhat of an epicenter for ceramic arts across the country. Resident artist director Stephen Lee came from Chicago in the 90s to work at the Bray. There's been a pattern of uh, people who come to the Bray from elsewhere, from outside the state, and then they decide to stay and live here. Each year, the Bray is home to about 30 artists. In total, there have been more than 600 to walk the halls here, each leaving their own unique mark. The Treasure State's geography and remoteness may have a lot to do with attracting creative types from across the country. I think the landscape and the you know, kind of access to nature certainly bleeds into some people's work. There's also another feature of the Bray not found at most other artist and residency programs. Just across from the art studios, the very factory where the clay is made. Well, that is one thing that's really unique about this place. It's usually the opposite and the residents um, they love it because they only have to walk from there to here to get whatever they want. The Archie Bray Clay Biz takes custom orders from artists if the request is possible. The biz pumps out about 20 different types of clay, totaling more than 476 tons of clay each year, distributed coast to coast. I think the Bray in, in a way has really been a place that has played a very significant role in the development of contemporary ceramic art in this country. And after facing financial troubles, Montanans came to the rescue, making it a truly Montana-made business. There were many points where, you know, when money was tight or, you know, some event would occur that this place could have uh, just got under and disappeared, but um, there were a lot of people who were very dedicated to seeing it succeed and saw the value of it early on. In Helena, Jacob Fuhrer, MTN News. Now, Lee said ceramic art is having a moment, becoming more visible and getting more exposure. We have more details about getting involved with Bray on our website. I didn't know Bray, Bray made clay. their own clay. Bray clay. I had How no idea either. I love that. I think that's cool. What a cool story. Yep. We do have to take a quick break. Coming up in a moment, a story.